Stephen Curry has ended speculation over his future by signing a one-year contract extension with the Golden State Warriors until 2027. The deal is worth a reported $62 million and change. It means the four-time NBA champion will be guaranteed $178 million over the next three years. Curry passes $500 million plus in career earnings on the court joining LeBron James and Kevin Durant. Because of the over 38 rule, the one-year extension is the maximum that Golden State could offer. Now, this is really exciting. Where is my guy? There he, oh, look at how dapper. Stephen A, I mean, now this man knows how to show up to first take. Look hold at the on, suit, I mean, the I, haircut, just, he, I, he's, I, he's, I, he's on, always ready. I have to, I have to take credit, I have to. Because he was coming here <laughs> with just uh, in a college shirts, no tie, or anything, and I had to get on him. And ever since then, he has upgraded. People have said he looked like a politician. He looks such so astute, like a yep. statesman everywhere he goes. He was representing the United States of America in Paris just as much as the athletes were for crying Eddie. out loud. Wendy was everywhere. He was everywhere. Wendy was great everywhere. job, by the way. And Wendy, Thank God, Stephen. Somebody's giving age. Stephen a credit. Thank God. We don't oh. have enough Stephen A. <laughs> getting know. credit, so thank God. Seriously, absolutely. Right. But, Wendy, right. we'll get into it, but you look relaxed. I'm glad you got to see your family. They remembered who you were, and because uh, we'll be ramping <laughs> right. things up pretty soon here, right? Uh, Wendy, tell me this. What do you make of Curry's extension? What can I learn from this? Well, I actually never believed any of the uh, hype that there was a chance that he was ever going to be anywhere but Golden State. But that did exist out there. There was some of that. Uh, so this is him just backing up what he's always said, which is he wants to be a warrior for life. And let's just be honest. This is a vote of confidence in the direction of the Warriors. He didn't have to sign this now. In fact, he could have waited another year. And next year, he would have been allowed to sign for two years. So him doing this now is saying, hey, I uh, respect what we're doing as an organization, and we're going to sort of pivot and try to try to continue to improve here. The Warriors are not going to win a championship this year as they're currently constructed, I don't believe. I don't think many people do. But one thing that the Warriors have been doing since really last winter that, you know, really should be paid attention to is their big game hunting. You know, they in one of the strangest stories of the last year in all of sports, if you ask me, if you remember, guys, the Warriors tried to trade for LeBron James at February's trade deadline. Now, it didn't get anywhere, but that was interesting. Then, over the summer, they tried to trade for Paul George. And when then that didn't work out, they couldn't make a deal. They tried to trade for Lowry Markkinen. So they are absolutely big game hunting. Now, big game hunting and big game landing are two different things. But they absolutely have the ability to look at other moves as as we go forward here, let's see how this season plays out. And they went and they added some players. They have uh, they have some young players on their roster. This is a team to watch going forward transactionally. They and Steph Curry signing that contract uh, is is his belief that this organization still has good days ahead. You know, one year, two year, it doesn't matter. Um, anybody who uh, from the Go to State Warriors organization who allows Steph Curry to ever leave. Uh, should should be banned from the state of California and banned from the NBA for for, for forever. Um, this is the greatest play in franchise history. More importantly than anything, I don't care what anybody says. More importantly than anything else, um, the role model that he has been, the model citizen that he has been, while maintaining his superstar status as the greatest shooter God ever created. Um, you just can't say enough about him. And so I want to put that any money that he earns, I don't count his money because whatever it is, he's underpaid. He is underpaid. Same thing with LeBron, by the way, underpaid. I don't give a damn what money you give them. They're underpaid compared to what they bring to the table. And that's just me being real and straight up about it. Having said that, the stuff that you brought up about Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors I'm very interested in delving a bit further. And in the weeks and months to come, I'm going to do that. Why couldn't they get Paul George? Why can't they get another superstar to pair with, um, with Steph Curry? Especially in the aftermath of Kevin Durant's departure. Maybe you didn't feel the need to have anybody. I get that part. Because uh, Clay Thompson's Clay Thompson, and I still believe in that brother, by the way. And Draymond is Draymond. As far as I'm concerned, people better open their eyes, wake up. There's a future Hall of Fame player. Scoring ain't everything. With all the intangibles that, that Draymond Green brings to the table, the Warriors are not four-time champions without Draymond Green. He's a Hall of Famer. But I'm still looking at the organization as a whole. 
specifically Steve Kerr. And I'm saying, how come, how come we can't get this brother any additional help? We get past the October deadline of an extension and they don't find a deal there. I think he becomes a, a high probability of being traded during the season. So that's one of the things we're going to watch. I think the big thing is that Joe Lacob and that ownership group and Mike Dunleavy, their general manager, are out there looking to really add to this team. They have scaled back their spending. They've reduced their, their, their luxury tax bill by something in the right. neighborhood of $150 million this year. There's no doubt that their spending is down, but that doesn't mean that they won't continue to spend. And so as the season goes along, you are correct, Stephen A. Mm. We're going to watch the Warriors, how they start uh, mm. and, 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 and who may become available during the year. Wendy, this is Stephen A. Smith you're talking to right now. So I'm going to ask you again. I know that the Golden State Warriors have tried to curb back their spending with all of those money, with all of those dollars Joe Lacob spent throughout the years, over $600 million, if I remember correctly. I mean, the money that he doled out in terms of salary, luxury tax, and How all of this other here, stuff. Guys. He, 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 he owes no one an apology. I was asking about a desire to play for Steve Kerr. Is that direct enough? I think all the answers have been answered because he signed that contract yesterday. Stephen Curry's off-season training partner emerges as intriguing trade target for Warriors. It's not uncommon for NBA players to train together during the off-season, especially when they share a similar skill set. If you're a shooter looking to refine your craft, there's no better mentor than Golden State Warriors star, Stephen Curry. The two-time MVP, widely regarded as the greatest three-point shooter in history, only enhanced his legendary status this off-season in Paris, where he drained 17 threes over two games, helping secure his first Olympic gold medal with Team USA. Denver Nuggets forward Michael Porter Jr. could be a perfect fit alongside Stephen Curry in Golden State. One player who seized the chance to train with Curry was 2023 champion Michael Porter Jr., who has built a reputation as one of the NBA's top shooters since being selected 14th overall by the Denver Nuggets in 2018. We've spent a lot of time working out together over the last few years, Porter shared on a recent episode of the Off Guard podcast with Austin Rivers. The way he works out is unbelievable. Despite hitting 41% of his three-pointers on nearly six attempts per game throughout his career, Porter's future with the Nuggets has been a topic of speculation this offseason. Yahoo Sports' Jake Fisher reported in July that Denver had explored the idea of including Porter in a trade for Paul George this summer. While it's unlikely the Nuggets would part with Porter after losing another elite three-point shooter, Kentavious Caldwell-Pope, to free agency, his name continues to surface in trade discussions. Should Porter become available in the next 12 months, the Warriors could be a natural landing spot for the 26-year-old. After losing a 7-foot sharpshooter in Laurie Markkinen, Golden State could logically have interest in the 6 feet 10 inches forward from Denver. Porter averaged 16.7 points and 7 rebounds last season playing in all but one game after years of back issues that date back to his draft year. He's set to earn approximately $115 million over the next three years, which could impact his trade value, particularly for the Warriors, who have recently made significant cuts to their payroll after years of luxury tax burdens.